Welcome to another episode of the Calumet Wilderness with Sam Love. I am your host, Sam Love. I think it's absolutely wonderful out right now. I am at Hidden Lake Park in Merrillville. Fun fact, when I was a toddler, my parents took me swimming in here, came out and developed a full body rash. So I have not been in this thing in many decades. Oh, another fun fact, this cool snowsuit that I'm wearing, it's my dad's. 57 years old. I like these stripes on it. Pretty cool. So he told me he got this when he got his first motorcycle. He bought it in the winter and he had to pop this on to get home and he said he still froze his ass off. But I'm doing pretty good. It's really comfortable and I have my pajamas on underneath this. So I am built for comfort and speed today. But uh, I'm not out here to reminisce today. I'm actually out here to uh, head into that wood line back there and take a look at Turkey Creek. Yeah, it looks solid, but uh, not going to take my chances. Ah, where's the rest of me? Yeah, I remember reading an article in the, one of the local newspapers. Um, and I want to say it was like five years ago, but it was probably more like 15 or 20 years ago. But some fellow around here canoed or kayaked a, a good length of Turkey Creek. And I can't remember the name. I've looked for it online, can't find it. So if any of you know what I'm talking about, please let me know. Uh, I just remember the guy said he had to do a lot of portaging and he, he got scraped up a bit. But uh, yeah, this looks like it would be a good place to put in. Um, that sounded so dirty. <laughs> that bridge up there is Broadway. can see about three deer, four, five. Now you can't see them, they're too far away, but they are there. Shall we go say hello? Use the deer trails, find deer. Imagine how that works.
it looks pretty clear and navigable. You know, there's that island and a couple of logs creating a bit of a rush there, but uh, overall nice and open, very shallow. It's kind of a neat texture uh, on the bottom here. Well, I guess I spoke a little too soon there about log jams, but uh, that'd be a fairly easy portage. Well, we're about to run out of real estate here. Of course, the creek carries on, goes uh, under I-65 and then, you know, ultimately reaching Lake George, deep river. You know, it's a very well-defined floodplain, but on the north side, not so much. So I don't feel like getting hollered at by somebody for trespassing today. So just wait till I can get a boat out. I'm sure it's really beautiful up there though. Used to be a suspension bridge here over the little lake, uh, but in 2009, the 4th of July fireworks exhibit, which was like the big thing around here, uh, it gave out and a good number of people were injured from that. Very tragic. I don't know if Hidden Lake is natural or artificial, but I do know that when I was a toddler, my parents took me swimming in here and I came out with a full body rash. So, yeah. Actually, I should say, I, I don't remember having the full body rash, but my parents certainly do and have reminded me a lot over the years. I do have memories though, as a kid being out here. So, that's pretty out here. I like it. I'm hungry. I need to go get some food. Truly appreciate all the shares, likes, comments, and subscribers. So if you haven't clicked that button already, please do. Got a lot more different kinds of things coming up this year. You know, some of the uh, environmental sounds videos that I know a lot of you like. I got some more podcasty type stuff coming and lots of guests. Um, Plenty of opportunity to get outdoors, which is what I recommend. Appreciate your landscape. All right, everybody. Take care.